Awning from Ricker Pond State Park in Groton, Vermont. Uh, yes, fall has arrived. <laughs> Last night I was in shorts and a tank top. Today I'm fully dressed here with a hat on and jacket and everything else here. Uh, it's breezy, it's cool. Let's see, what's the temperature now? It is 53 degrees out here. The wind it just makes it feel a lot colder. So, in a late start today, what is it now? Can you get, watch to come up here? Hold on. Come on. Wakey wakey. Ah, 10:39. There we go. 10:39. So, in the late start today because I got a work request uh, that held me on the phone for an hour this morning, sitting in the back of the van. But we're getting breakfast started now. And, uh, <laughs> wait until you see what I found. So at Market Basket this week, I found eggnog. Yes, mid-September, they have eggnog. <laughs> uh, so, I figured for this uh, fall-like day today, what perfect meal to make for breakfast? Eggnog French toast. Nice, uh, nice fall breakfast. <laughs> well, so that's what we're working on making this morning. My version of it. Have a single egg. One egg. Oops, just knocked my vanilla extract over. Good thing the cover's on. Single egg. My gigantic measuring cup here. Quarter cup of eggnog. that in. Got a little vanilla extract. Just a touch of sugar to this. I need a lot. There we go. Cinnamon. It'd be nice if I had some nutmeg too, but I actually don't have any of that in my collection of stuff in the uh, van here, so I gotta fix that. Uh, next trip, I'll have a, I'll have nutmeg available. In there, nice and gooey. First French toast on the stove. Hey, first piece of French toast is coming off the stove. No. Second one. Probably all we're gonna need here. And all the batter I've gotten in here anyway, enough for two. This is perfect. Okay. Nice and wet and soft. Oh. Okay, we got a tiny dribble of maple syrup left. Not a lot, but I'm gonna get some more. There we go. We have eggnog French toast with bacon and sausage. Perfect uh, breakfast for a fall day. <laughs> and it feels like fall now, even though it's still technically summer. It's only September 15th. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. Oh. That's very good. All right. We'll catch you guys after breakfast. Now it's starting to warm up a little bit here. It's about 60 degrees. The wind is pretty pretty brutal still though. But anyway. Alright. Oh, I think we can switch hats back to my normal hat first. And I think we're gonna go for a little bit of a walk. This hat's not as warm, but <laughs> keeps the sun out of my face for a little bit here so I can see where I'm going here. So Alright, let's see, what should we do here? Uh I know I gotta bring the trash bag down to the uh, dumpsters. 
I wanted to go up and see uh, the pond a little bit. Let's go look at the pond for us, and we'll come back get the trash bag. Bring that down. I'm going to do a campground tour video today, a little bit later too, here, so... Should be uh, some interesting content coming up for you guys. Uh, let's see how the water's looking here. <laughs> so, I have a feeling that this uh, wind here, I'm not going to want to be pulling the kayak out. Yeah, I should be able to handle some waves and stuff, but I want to stick with calm water while I'm learning to learning the kayak for us before I uh, tackle any choppy water. Uh, so first things first, though. Let's just go take a look and see what the uh, little pond is doing. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna pull the kayak out today unless this wind dies down. Let's hope the wind is a little less tomorrow. It's also supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow too, so today's a good day to bring the bike out instead. Ooh, that wind. <laughs> you know, it's hard to see through these trees, but there's a little, it almost looks like an island or a peninsula out there. I wonder if I can, if, if it's a peninsula, I wonder if I can walk out there. Well, it looks like it's a peninsula. <laughs> Let's find out. They kind of neat. Obviously, people have been out there making that ring of rocks out there at the end of it. Let's find out. I'm going to say this dock has seen better days. Considering it's over there and the stairs are over here. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going down those stairs. Probably not very stable. A little mini pond over here. At least that's calm enough. I could kayak up and out. <laughs> I don't go very far though. I don't think there's a boat launch in it anyway. Uh, well, I could drag it down here and launch it. Oops. The other birdie. Uh, yeah, it's kind of murky looking. I don't think I want to go in that. Up on this side. A little dock down here. Much better shape than the other one. There's that peninsula. And this is the pond. Yeah, way too many rapids for me. I'm not going to be uh, pulling the kayak out on this. So We'll see what tomorrow brings. Or even this evening. Winds cut die down, I can do something. It's up this way. Well, that's neat. Oh god, I hope this wind dies down. <laughs> really would be nice to go out on this pond. Go all this way with that kayak and then not be able to go out on the pond because it's too choppy for me. Ugh. Oh, looks like I got a little waterfall over here. You know, it's been three years since I've been here and I don't remember this. Hmm. I'm sure I must have come over here. I'd hard to believe I wouldn't, but I don't remember any of this. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's neat. There's a little waterfall. A lot of wind. Alright, this looks like the trail out to the peninsula. Oh, that's going to be a very quick visit given how windy it is right now. <laughs> Hopefully this little uh, uh, squishy thing there, the tribble there that I've got on top of the microphone is doing its job here. And you're not hearing a lot of wind noise and you're actually able to hear me. 
That's the hope. <laughs> uh, it's probably the highest winds I've tested this microphone uh, setup in, so we'll see. Okay, so far, so good. Nice little hiking trail. So we get out of the fire ring out here. Well, that would be a nice place to have a campfire now, wouldn't it? I bet you can't just set up a tent out here and camp in this spot. Oh, wow, this is nice. Cool spot. A little more sheltered from the wind over here, too. Nice. Very, very nice. I would hang out in these places if I lived up this way. Alright. Get a little narrow here. And even narrower. <laughs> That's still going. And the wind's picking up over here. Not as sheltered. Oh, uh, there's that little dock that I uh, the, that I walked out onto. That's the way over there. And there's the uh, broken one. Continue onward here. It's trickier to walk out to the further we get. <laughs> Uh, see. Oh, my feet are going to get wet. That's not good. Not in these temperatures. Uh, all right. Getting skinnier. But it's still going. Oh, that f sun feels nice and warm. Oh, boy. Cold day I have here today. It's chilly. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it's getting skinnier. <laughs> uh. Let's take a look here for a minute. All right. Well, this place is going to look good when the fall colors really come up. Alright, we're almost there. Almost to the end here. Yeah. It's getting really skinny now. It's still going. It's getting tighter. <laughs> uh, all right, we're almost to the end. The end is near. A little beach at the end of it. They just created themselves a little swimming hole here. Oh, and there's the wind. Oh, there we are. You're probably not even hearing me now with all the wind noise. There we go. Wind died down for a moment. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's neat. Right out on the peninsula. See all the little mountains and everything here. Yeah, the colors are starting to show up, too. Okay, we're back off the peninsula here. This is the opening area where the uh, rail trail crosses the road up there. And it continues on the other side. A little uh, information board here. Actually, some nice uh, hiking trails. Uh, well, hiking trails aren't uh, over at uh, <laughs> Rickers. Pond State Park, so I'm probably not going to get to any of that this trip. But we got to start coming back to this state park, uh, or the uh, state forest, Groton State Forest, more often. This is a big place. Yeah, all the uh, different uh, places we've got here. Yeah. Big Deer, we got Kettle Pond, New Discovery, and I also does not a camping area, Ricker Pond, which is where I am, and Stillwater. So we're going to check out probably at least one more, if not two more, of those uh, while we're here. Let's see, we're here. That's the campground we're staying at now on Ricker Pond. I'm going to ride the uh, rail trail for a bit. We can go down here and check out Stillwater. That's what that looks like. Get to Lake Rock from that one. 
And then go down a little bit further and check out Big Deer. You can go back up here on the rail trail and check out Cattle Pond. I'm not sure if I'm going to feel ambitious enough to go all the way up to New Discovery on the bike, but we'll see. You never know. <laughs> I've been to New Discovery before when I stayed here before, so who knows. But anyway, all right, let's get back to the campsite here. i got to put another memory card in the video camera. And I'm going to bring the trash down and I'm going to start recording my uh, campground tour video, which will be the video you'll see after this one. This site has one of the coolest setups over here. Doesn't have a lot of privacy. <laughs> and you got this nice little rock setup over here. I'm gonna sit here and relax and got another little hidden fireplace over here. Water access over there, and the Flintstones picnic table, <laughs> which looks like it has seen better days, unfortunately. I'm sure this was built by the CCC. Cool setup, though. Oh, that wind was brutal, especially once I got out over the pond area. The wind just whipped right over the water. But I'm pleased with how well my microphone performed during all of that. Much better than I had expected it to do. So thanks for watching everybody. Next video release we'll be doing the full tour of Ricker Pond State Park. So do come back to see that. In the meantime I want to thank my supporters for buying me some gas to get along my way. With that, remember, slow down and enjoy life. And we'll talk to you guys later.